Hi, I'm Mark Glassman from ARCS. Hi, I'm Larry Knighty. And you run this whole operation? I'm the manufacturing manager here at Royal Gold Plant. Excellent. Why don't we go inside and see how they make pretzels? What's happening here? Well, this is where the process starts. We, we start with our dough, water, and other ingredients. We get our batch mixed up. We send that batch up and over to our extruder. But this is really where it starts. 500 pounds of a batch. We go from there. What, 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 what's in this flour? Is it, is it corn, wheat? What is it? What is this? This is just your standard wheat flour that you would see pretty much anywhere. So it's, it's, that's our main ingredient. Then we have a few other ingredients that go into pretzels, malt, shortening, leavening, those types of things. We put that mix together, that makes our dough, we're ready to make a pretzel. Where does the wheat come from? Oh, great question. We get all of our wheat from Ohio. Northeast Ohio is our, is our supply of all the wheat that we supply. We get it in truck loads, we use about three trucks a day, about 50,000 pounds per truck. We have our batch of dough, that batch of dough is actually being processed and put up over the top here, which feeds our extruder. That's where we make the pretzels. This is a tiny twist pretzel line, and this has been running now for six days, 24 hours a day. This is the oven for baking the pretzels. This one oven is 120 feet long, and there's many of them. A pretzel will go in the oven for a total of 25 minutes for a perfect baked pretzel. What's happening right here? Okay, so this is our oven. Here's the exit of it. We've already produced the pretzel, we've salted it before it went in the oven. So now it's coming out of the oven. We're about halfway done here. So we've, we've formulated the pretzel. We've got the nice brown color from the pretzel. And now we're ready to send it for its final bake. This is, a, this is about halfway in the process right here. That's a nice soft pretzel. Perfect. We reuse all of our cartons at Frito Lay. The reason we do is to be environmentally safe, environmentally friendly. We'll use these as many times as we can to reuse that and send it back to the consumer so that we uh, you know, recycle our cartons. So these vibrant conveyors are important to us because they protect our product. They make sure that we, we don't have any breakage when it gets in the bag. What we're seeing here, this is a special piece of equipment that actually weighs our product. It's over a thousand combinations of getting the right bag, right weight in the bag. Here, we've done a great job of making sure that the consumer gets what's in their bag, what's printed on the bag. Here's our one pound bag. We're making that product today. This is what goes to Marks. In one year, in all the bags we make, we'll produce over 80 million bags of product for the market. That's 80 million bags, all made in Ohio. All made in Ohio. This is the final process of packaging. We're putting the bags in the case on the way to the warehouse where we're going to ship them to Marks. It's amazing how what used to take days now is very short time to your store. It's so efficient. It is. It's a great thing. Freshest product possible. Fabulous. These rods are my personal favorite. You make these here also? We're the sole producer in Frito Lay of Rods. For the whole this is the place. For the whole country. We're the guys. These are perfect. With a cold glass of beer and watching the ball game. All this product can be shipped to my store within two days. Okay, that's how fast the production, the packaging, and the shipping is to Marks. That's how fresh these pretzels are. They're locally made and they're in the store within a couple days.